Hi, and welcome to this video lesson on electrical circuits. An electrical circuit is a closed path on which electrons flow from voltage source. The point at which the electrons enter the circuit is called the source of electrons, or power source. When we talk about the flow of electrons through a circuit, we often refer to it as the flow of current through a circuit. Current always flows from positive to negative in terms of direction. A good way to think about it might be to imagine a river. Now, if the water in a river is the electrons in a circuit, then the current flow in a river is equivalent to the current flow of power for electricity in a circuit. And just like a river always runs towards sea level, the power in a circuit always runs from positively charged terminals to negatively charged terminals. From this diagram, we can see a representation of a circuit flow. We can see that the current flows from the positive terminal of the voltage source through the load on the circuit back to the negative source. Now we have not talked about loads yet, but in the simplest of terms, an electrical load can be thought of as anything that causes resistance for the current to flow. Going back to a river analogy, if we put a pillar in the middle of the river, the water would have to flow around the pillar, and there would be a force of resistance from the pillar on the water that would force the water around it. In that regard, an electrical load is anything that puts any type of resistance on the flow of current or anything that uses the power from the circuit. As a result, if you put a light bulb in a circuit, the light bulb is the load of the circuit because it takes power out of the circuit to turn on and thereby causes a resistance and reduction of power out of the circuit. The last few things we need to discuss about electrical circuits is how we measure things like power, current, or resistance. Power is measured in voltage. Voltage is equal to joules over coulomb. Joules are a measurement of energy, and the coulomb is the standard measurement of electrical charge. Current is measured using the amper. The amper, or amp, whose symbol is A, is named after André-Marie Amper from France. The amp is defined as one coulomb over a second in a given cross-sectional area for the carrier of the current. The final measurement used is the ohm. The ohm, named after George Simon Ohm from Germany, is the name given to the unit used for measuring resistance. As it is the base unit, there is no real comparison to give it as it relates to another unit of measurement. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching this video lesson from Mometrics.